Hi, and welcome back to Uviac Outfitters here in Richmond, Vermont. So picking paddles can be a difficult task. There's lots of different shapes and sizes, lots of different marketing schemes and names. So we're gonna do a quick little video series with you between canoe paddles, kayak paddles, and SUP paddles, so that when you walk into a paddle shop, you'll be an expert already. So one of the paddles we sell is this beautiful gray owl guide paddle uh, in cherry. So it's a three piece laminate. When these were originally made way back, this actually used to be one full piece of carved out wood. This particular one is called an otter tail. This is gonna be great for the paddler who is gonna be the day tripper uh, out on the lake, out on deeper ponds and deeper rivers. Uh, the design idea behind this paddle is it's gonna allow you to get further under the boat and push water deeper under the boat. It's also is great for you stern paddlers to act as a rudder. Another type of paddle that we use is, there's a couple different names for it, but the most generic one is just called a square tip. This one you can see has a much thicker blade. This is when you want to move a lot more water. Um, also great on lakes, ponds, it's gonna be a little bit more versatile uh, on the river just because of the two different blade lengths. This is gonna allow you to get more of the actual blade in the water. Um, some really nice features that you, you can find on paddles is both of these have a polyurethane coating. That's gonna help prevent scratching um, and keep your paddle from getting moisture in there. Uh, another thing that both of these have, you should definitely look into when getting a paddle is the rock guards. That's gonna allow you to soak up a little bit of those dings and scratches. Um, also helps with pushing off a shore, gives you a little bit more confidence when it comes to that. One last thing is what size paddle do you get? So the easiest way to do this is sitting down because that's gonna be mimicking you in the actual boat. So we always say find somewhere to sit, sit nice and upright because what we're measuring isn't your height with a canoe paddle, it is your torso. So if you take a canoe paddle and you put it right between your legs, like you're sitting in the boat, the blade, the throat, and the shaft should pretty much line up right between your nose and your forehead. And that's how you know that you have a good paddle. So it's a little bit based on height, but mostly on torso length. So. Hopefully this video was helpful and we'll keep putting more out for you. Thank you and we'll see you on the water.